Hey Parsh, how are you doing? Welcome to the Bay Area. Thank you. We are very excited to have you uh, showcase Nagamandala and Abha on October 7th and for your solo performances on October 4th. Are you excited to, uh, to be in the Bay Area and showcase your solo performances as well? Definitely. And uh, as you said, this is the first time we are, I am presenting my solo uh, in this entire tour. Though this is our last uh, performing uh, venue, performance venue. But we are very, very excited because this is the largest audience we are going to have for Abha and Nagamandala. We are going to ask, I'm going to ask a few questions, sure. uh, just some quick questions to get to know you a little better so that you're, you're not just talking only about Abha and Nagamandala. Okay. What is the most easiest transition for you, being uh -huh. a teacher, a choreographer, performer, student or being a parent? Uh, I would say parenting, but at the same time, I also would say all these things I am at the same time. Mm. I don't uh, switch from one to another. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the secret ingredient, according to you, for your artistic exploration? Because you make the dance so seamless for non-dancers and dancers to understand and for people to, um, to be visually very um, driven to your dance. What, according to you, is your secret in ingredient for that? I think my uh, teacher had asked me to look at my own dance as an audience. You yourself are, uh, is your first audience. You should be able to enjoy your own dance, not just while dancing, but taking yourself out of that choreographer, performer, uh, you know, uh, zone and see how you are seeing yourself as dancer, performer. I think that is how I try to judge myself, my creations, my work. And uh, yes, I think that that is the only time when it works. If you had a day off in the US, in the US tour, uh, where would you spend it? Uh, on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you are an inspiration to so many dancers across yeah. the world. Who is your inspiration? Many actually. Uh, at different phases of my life, I had many inspirations. Uh, all my seniors from Bangalore, male dancers, everyone paved a very beautiful way for all the male dancers of my generation and uh, you know uh, and also my gurus they have always been my inspiration and uh, today i think uh, my students are my inspiration the way they are driven the, the way they uh, uh, you know make us dance <laughs> so yes they are my inspiration today what's your favorite drink of the day coffee or tea today coffee <laughs> Uh, for October 4th, what can we expect from the solo showcases that you're going to show? Uh, what I have uh, realized in as, as a Bharatanatyam dancer uh, is that no matter how much freelancing you do, no matter how many uh, ensemble work you do, the real joy of this art form lies in uh, being a soloist. I love doing Abha, Nagamandala, all the group work, but I think my first love would be solo, where I do not have to think about anybody else. I can be in my own, own ambience, my own uh, creation in, that is happening in my head and enjoy that moment. So I'm just going to go on stage and have fun. I really hope all of you could be there to have uh, interaction with us, to talk to us, uh, which uh, uh, I might take one step ahead and ask you to give me some suggestion uh, on which I may be able to do some Abhinaya that day. Oh wow, that sounds yeah. really interesting. We are looking forward to your October 4th, all three of your October 4th performances. Thank you. Thank you so much for this quick bite with us. Thank you.